Hello, my name is Dina from Victoria Designs. And if you like strange but beautiful vintage herbs and flowers, I have a new kit for you, the Exquisite Flowers Kit. The designs feel intriguing and vintagey, aged at the same time. With these printables, Francesca made a tutorial for a junk journal with a paperback cover. And the beauty is, Francesca really encourages you to be creative and follow your own path. If you would like to see more of Francesca's beautiful crafts, please visit her YouTube channel Junk Journal Joy. There's a link below. And as always, you can use many other papers to make this project as well. It'll look completely different and yet the same. And of course, you can use the principles from this kit to make many other craft projects. This is just one idea. In this video, Francesca will explain completely how she made the whole journal from scratch. But first, there's a flip through of her finished journal and some of the printed papers so you can see them already. If you would like to make this project or another craft project with the principles of our exquisite flowers kit, you can discover it in my Etsy shop. There's a link for that below for more information. And now here is Francesca. Enjoy! Hi everyone, I'm Francesca from Gian Journal Joy. Today I want to share with you how to create this Gian Journal that I created using the last digital kit from Vittoria Design. The link is in the description of this video. Let's start with a quick flip through and then we'll create this Gian Journal together.
I print the pages from the kit front and back. My printer is uh, the EcoTank from Epson, it's uh, an inkjet, and I use uh, the default uh, settings. I have to print uh, one page and then manually <laughs> I have to flip the page and uh, print again on the back. This is the paper that I use, it's 160 grammar and it's a paper that you can find easily online or in your local stationery shop. It's a little thicker than the standard copy paper. And this is what I printed. It's not all the kit, but a large part. <laughs> Now let's see how to prepare the page from the kit. I cut the S's with the scissors. I fold enough uh, the page, you can use a bone folder and distress ink to avoid the white on the borders. But uh, actually I use uh, the distress ink only on this page. <laughs> I prefer the, the page uh, white, I don't know why. Now let's see how to create the signatures. I created five uh, groups of pages that are uh, two pages from the kit as you can see. And then I prepare various type of paper that I like. I have ready with me my scissor, my ruler, some washi tape and masking tape, some embellishment from the kit, some fabrics and some embroidery thread, a stamp and archival ink. The paper that I want to include are uh, something like uh, uh, doily paper, uh, bags. Uh, I have uh, two clear bags. These are um, recycled packaging filled with uh, book pages and embellishment uh, from the kit. Then I have uh, dictionary pages, ledger paper, tracing paper, notebook papers, <laughs> newsprint paper, this is linen paper, and then I have this beautiful handmade paper that uh, Patty gave to me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Patty. <laughs> and now it's time to be creative, <laughs> because with this paper we can uh, do a lot of things and uh, the limit is only the sky. <laughs> 
For example, a simple thing that you can do is uh, use masking tape to create a single page from two books pages. You can tear your paper and fold a part of it and fan fold your pages in different ways. I highly recommend to take what you like from this tutorial and discard the rest because we have our own dust and so we are all different and so this is uh, the way that I like but you have uh, to find your own way to prepare the pages my advice is uh, to experiment <laughs> and have fun and make uh, uh, something that is useful and pretty for you <laughs> Now I have 10 pages ready and it's time to do something with these special bags and the papers. To connect these two bags I'm using masking tape and then I will use some fabrics to cover the masking tape. And if you have the sewing machine or you want to do some slow stitch on the fabric, this is the time. Or you can create some fake stitching with some stems. And I will show how in a minute. To add the fabric, I'm using flash bond or you can use the Fabri-Tac glue or other strong glue. <laughs> And to create the fake uh, stitching, you can use a stamp. You can easily find them online uh, searching for uh, stitching stamps.
Here I wanted to repeat the same process and the only difference is that I wanted to decorate my bags with some embellishment from the kit. I decided to embellish this type of fabric with some custom buttons, covering them with the embellishment from the kit. You can just apply some glue on top of it, then the circle embellishment, cut the S's, And then you can use the punch to make holes from the back of the buttons. To make the holes prettier you have to um, use your finger like that and then punch on the front. And it's done! Now you can make holes uh, uh, on uh, an embellishment and then sew the button on it and uh, then add it on uh, your uh, fabric page. And now we can add our new pages on our signatures. So right now for every signature I have two pages from the kit. I want to add two pages from this pile and one special page from this pile. The page from the kit will be the first and the last of the signature. This is not a rule, <laughs> okay, be free to do whatever you want, it's only a guide to make the things easier for you. And then you can check if everything is alright for you. For me it's okay, so I'll move on.
Now you can check a second time to control if everything together is okay for your task. For example, in this case, I don't like very much this page, so I'm trying to figure out uh, how to do with it. For now, I'm leaving like that, but uh, we'll see. Also, I don't like uh, this position of uh, this page so I want to make uh, this page more visible and the last thing I don't like this uh, page uh, poking through so I'm going to tear it uh, a little bit For now I think the result is good, so I'll move on. Now I want to make an insert for every signature, so five inserts, that will bring some movement to my signatures. For every insert that I want to make, I have prepared some embellishment, some book page, uh, two backgrounds and two backgrounds with uh, some uh, drawings on it. The first thing to do is create a flip. In this case I'm using a book page but you can use a background from uh, the kit. And then uh, we can add uh, on this background another background to create two pockets on the side. And now we can create other two pockets with another background from the kit. Based on how you glue the pages together, you can have different types of pockets. And then we can uh, do the same thing on the back. At this point we can embellish the flip with some embellishment from the kit, for example I am creating a pocket. As a final touch you can use some elements to create some collage or other pockets here and there.
At this point, you can add this insert in your signature. Try different pages through the pages and then decide what you like the most. And now with the same process and adding some difference here and there, we can create other four inserts. Here I want to show you uh, some examples of um, inserts that I made, so you can have uh, more inspiration. You can also put your insert in this way, so the page that will flip out will be the page with this gorgeous design, and you will not cut enough. In this case, I didn't make uh, two pockets, but one pocket and uh, I uh, create one page that I embellish with some elements from the kit. And the main pockets are uh, on the top of uh, my pages. Everything depends on uh, how you glue the pages together. And now I have to figure out how to add my insert in a way that um, is beautiful. Finally, I decided to discard this page because I don't like it and I use it for another project. <laughs> This is another one, in this case I created a um, belly band, as you can see, and not a pocket, but another page. And the last one have a pocket on the top and not on the bottom of the page. So now our signatures are done.
for the cover I decided to use a brown lunch bag because this has the right size and it's very very flexible and the first thing to do is to add some fabric in the middle of the inside of the lunch bag this is cotton my advice is to use something that has the same color palette of the kit mine is not perfect but it's okay <laughs> and then using fabric tack or flash bond as a glue to, for my fabric now place uh, the signature in uh, our bag and with the ruler we can see the width uh, um, of the signature for me it's one centimeter and this is uh, a personal preference uh, because uh, in this type of journal I writing a lot and I don't add uh, so much collage so it's a great width for me <laughs> and for every signature I mark uh, 0.5 centimeters from the edges and then the center of my lunch bag Now protect your uh, table with some cardboard and use uh, a punch to make the holes. At this point use uh, some paper clips to hold uh, the pages together and with the punch make the holes in this way as you can see as a reference for my holes I have the cover start with the last signature and use wax thread or cotton thread to sewing the signature to the cover start from the center starting from the outside of the lunch bag then go on the bottom then on the center again and then through the top cut and make a knot do this for every signature to embellish the cover you can use a piece of fabric and two pages from the kit you can use a simple fabric that you like or in this case I will do a collage and some slow stitch on my spine but it's optional <laughs> of course and I will cover my lunch bag with uh, two pages from the kit and uh, glue in this way I can create a pocket on the top and something interesting also for uh, the back uh, but uh, we'll see <laughs> in a second moment for now this is just uh, to give you some idea and inspiration now i'm testing the spine i want to see how long this uh, has to be and i mark uh, um, with a pencil for uh, this reason 
where my main embellishment will have to be. I already prepared some fabrics that I like with colors that are almost like the color palette of the kit. Now I'm layering my fabric, my scraps of fabric, for the most intuitively, but I can tell you that uh, it can't uh, go wrong if you use some semi-transparent lace on top of uh, your uh, other scraps. When you are satisfied, use some pins to hold everything together. Now I am going to use some embroidery thread in the same color palette. I divided the thread in two because I like the most when the thread is more thin. And then I'm going to do some running stitch that is this one type of stitch, very very simple. Essentially you have to put the needle up and down. <laughs> And this is a way to make your journal very yours and unique. And I can say that the slow stitching is a mindful practice and it's very, very useful for relax. <laughs> Here is some stitch that I done, very, very simple. I did also some little cross. I think it's a cute details. I think everything is in place. And now I want to add some buttons. I add in some masking tape on the thread that I use for the sewing so everything stay together and I cut the excess. And now it's time to add this page on the cover and I create a pocket on the top, adding the glue in this way. Now it's time to add the spine with the fabric tack glue or flesh bond glue and I start with tiny steps. When this part will be dry, I glue the center. And now, because I like very much this spine, I don't want to cover it, I'll add first the page from the kit. And to embellish it, I want to add an embossed recycled plastic that I made. 
It's a little round because it was a plastic bottle. And I use my CV machine to add this plastic on the page. I decided to break the pages in two, so I will be able to create a pocket on the back and also leave the natural pocket of the bag. Here I'm using some paper clips because uh, the plastic is round and so I need to, to flat uh, this page a little. And now I can glue the spine down. And finally I can add my last page on the inside. I let it dry overnight with something on the top to flat the journal. After a night everything is dry and I can add for example um, sari silk uh, with the same color palette of my journal and uh, I'll add also um, uh, paper clips, not a paper clips, a bulldog pins with uh, my one of my old uh, earrings on it, and so uh, it will be more personal and uh, unique. I hope you like this video, let me know in the comments and see you soon. Bye!